constellation served as a map during the early years and tells you about countless stories about heroes and monsters through the years of humankind and culture. Like in other countries, our Filipino ancestors did worship the stars before as their gods. They have their own version of names, prayers, and stories depending on what region they are from. The region of names of different astronomical bodies some from deity in the ancient Philippine mythology. That one being Tala, which is a very good example and very common to hear. They are both the daughters of Pathala and the mortal woman. Another example is Apolaki, who is the god of the sun. He was the son of Anagolai and Dumaquilan. The constellation in their movement, and as the season and time change, our ancestors somehow practice following the star movement as a sign of good harvest, fishing, hunting, and other activities in the tribe. It's either a good or a bad omen when something is changing in the night sky. <laughs> Sa book called Balati, Ethnoastronomia, Kalangitan, and Kabias ng Pilipino by Dr. Dante L. Ambrosio. It is about the link between astronomy and ethnolinguistic groups in the Philippines, also known as ethnoastronomy. Moroporo is connected to sea navigation, but like Balati, it was primarily used to signal the beginning of the planting season. The three Marias in Tagalog, Magbangal in Bukidnon, and Sirtor in Taduray. Balotic is composed of perfectly aligned and evenly spaced stars, which act as the belt of the constellation of Orion. In Palawan and Ibadoy, however, Balotic is seen as both the sword and belt of Orion. Start of planting and setting of traps to protect the crops from animals. Meudas, or Mohodan in Tagalog, or San Abon in Ibalon, and Kukupun in Tedunay. In Western, it is known as the Star Cluster Plates, or the Seven Sisters, located in the constellation of Taurus. Tagalog's concern the Star Cluster to know the shifting of time and season. Start planting season. There are stars such as Pogot, used as a site for fishing and climbing stores. Saog is a four star that resembles a four sided figure, which signals the beginning of nighttime. And Torong, three star that show an approaching storm. Sipat and Tudong are mentioned in a ritual known as Kentan, conducted by an ethnic groups in the Cordillera to bless rice seedlings. Naba is another star named by the people of Cordillera. He served in prayers chanted during the ritual sacrifice of a chief. Most of the constellation names we know came from the ancient Middle Eastern, Greek, and Roman cultures. They identified clusters of stars as gods, goddesses, animals, and objects of their stories. It is important to understand that these were not the only cultures populating the night sky with characters important to their lives. Cultures all over the world and throughout time, Native American, Asian, and African have made pictures with those same stars. In some cases, the constellation may have had ceremonial or religious significance. In other cases, the star groupings help to mark the passage of time between planting and harvesting. There are 48 ancient constellations and they are the brightest grouping of stars.
those observed easily by the unaided eye. There are actually 50 ancient constellations. Astronomers divided one of the constellation Argo into three parts. Modern constellations like the Peacock, Telescope, and Giraffe were identified by later astronomers of the 50s, 60s, and 70s, who used telescopes and were able to observe the night sky in the southern hemisphere. The scientists connected the diamond stars between the ancient constellations. There are 38 modern constellations. In 1930, the International Astronomical Union officially listed 88 modern and ancient constellations. One of the ancient constellations was divided into three parts and drew a boundary around which the boundary edges meet, dividing imaginary sphere and celestial sphere, surrounding Earth into 88 pieces. Astronomers consider any star more than a constellation boundary to be part of that constellation, even if it, it is not part of the actual picture. <laughs> There are billions of stars, and only a fraction of them make up the shape of our constellations. These are the stars that are easily seen with the unnated eye. Ancient observers connected these stars into the star pictures. All stars, however, fall within the boundaries of one of the 88 constellation regions. As astronomers study the night sky with modern telescopes, they were able to discern stars in the dark spaces around the constellations. Stars that were not part of the original star pictures. You can see some of these stars by observing the sky on a dark night. If you look at the sky with binoculars, you will see even more stars. If you have a telescope, you will see even more. All the stars you see belong to one special group of stars. The stars in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Hundreds of the brightest stars, those visible with an aided eye, were given name in ancient times. These include El Tanin of Draco, the Dragon, and Vega and Lyra, the Lar. Many of these stars have multiple names having been observed by different cultures. Today's stars are named by their coordinates on the celestial sphere. This is an imaginary sphere surrounding Earth. Earth's north and south poles can be extended in space to this sphere, making the north and south celestial poles the poles around which spheres spins. Polaris marks the intersection of the standard north pole and the sphere. Earth's equator, extended into space, intersects the sphere at the celestial equator, dividing it into northern and southern hemispheres. All stars and objects in space, such as constellations, can be mapped related to the poles and equator of the celestial sphere. They position of Earth south of the celestial equator, essentially the latitude is called the duration. Their position is a rest, essentially is the longitude ascension, measured in hours, minutes, and seconds on Earth. We measure our longitude is our west from Greenwich, England. Right ascension on the celestial sphere is measured from the intersection of ecliptic plane of Earth's orbit and the celestial equator. There are numerous catalogs of stars, each with a different scheme for annotated position. This means that each star has even more names. One of the most famous catalogs from the 1800s, the Bond Survey, divides the sky into one degree wide bands of definition in numbers of stars for the rest to use the rise of right ascension. In the Bond Survey, Mona Bushmastera, Vega, is really a 
The stars are distant objects. Their distances vary, but they are all very far away. Excluding our sun, the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is more than 4 light years away. As Earth spins on its axis, we, as Earth-bound observers, spin past this background of distant stars. As Earth spins, the stars appear to move across our night sky from east to west for the same reason that our sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Stars close to the celestial poles, the imaginary points where Earth's north and south axis point in space, have a very small circle of spin. So if you find Polaris, Earth's north, pole star, you will observe it move very, very, very little in the night sky. The farther from Polaris, the wider in circle stars trees. Stars that make a full circle around a celestial fall, like those in the big and the little dippers in the northern hemisphere, are called circumpolar. They stay in the night and do not set. At the equator, there are no circumpolar stars because the celestial poles are located at the horizon. All stars observe the equator rise in the east and set in the west. If observed through the year, the constellations shift gradually to the west. This is caused by the Earth's orbit around our Sun. In the summer, viewers are looking in a different direction in space at night than they are during the winter. Sun once each year. Viewed from Earth, our Sun appears to trace a circular path. This path defines a plane called the plane of the ecliptic or just the ecliptic. The zodiac is the group or belt of constellations that fall along the plane of the ecliptic. It is through these constellations that our Sun appears to pass during the year. While there are 12 astrological constellations of the zodiac, there are 13 astronomical zodiac constellations. Capricornus, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, and Ophidus. The annual cycle of the zodiac was used by ancient cultures to determine the time of year.
Most of the planets except Pluto also have orbits that are very close to the ecliptic plane defined by the Earth's motion within about 8 degrees above or below. If you include all the constellations encompassed by this broadened definition of ecliptic plane, you will have 21 to 24 constellations of zodiacs. constellations. 5,000 years ago, our sun passed through Taurus during the spring equinox. Today, it is in pieces at the start of spring. So if you ever wonder why your horoscope may be off a bit perhaps by several thousand years, this ship may be the reason. Hi guys! So we're at the end of our video presentation project in science. So I hope you learned something about our topic, the constellations. I am Kiesa Villalba, the leader of the group Unpaired Electrons. Thank you for watching. Peace out!